Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with Anmadhu Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Pandas Lead Code Question Type Easy Number 1069 Product Sales Analysis 2. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join the Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay, what is that they have given? They have given a sales table where it is consisting of sale ID, product ID, year, quantity, price, and also product table, which is consisting of product ID and product name. Okay, and some output also they have given. Now let us see the question. Write a solution that reports the total quantity sold for every product ID okay return the result in any order let me copy it okay so what is that the question is for each product id they want the sum of quantity let us see this is the sales table how many different product ids are there 100 200 so this is the 100 rows and this is the 200 rows so for 100 what is the quantity for 100 you have quantities 10 comma 12 for 200 you have quantities 15 okay so what is the sum of 10 comma 12 this 22 it is just 15 so for this product id 100 the net quantity is 22 for product id 200 the net quantity is 15 that is what the output is okay so we don't care about the product table it is just a distraction for us okay so what we need to do here group by product id and get the quantities that's it very straightforward return sales dot group by by equal to product id and get the quantity sum As the group by object is retaining a series, but what you want, we want a data frame. So either I can use dot to frame okay. So when you do two frame, what will happen? You can see only the quantity will be written, but I want the product ID also. So in this case, the better scenario would be reset index. Then it will give the grouping by object also and the quantity. Mm, okay, reset index. Okay, it's clear, right? Product ID and quantity, we are getting it. But the column name, they want to call it as total quantity, not the regular quantity. As we are resetting here, either I can say name equal to total quantity here, either dot rename function also I can use it. Both will give the same desired result. I hope it's clear. We have successfully passed the test case, sample test case. Now let me check for all the test cases. Okay, our code solution has successfully passed all the test cases and we have solved the question. 
if you want the code output for this query you can follow along with this github repository the link will be provided in the description if you are further interested in learning data science data analytics machine learning nlp computer vision generative ai stuff please fill in the google form below my team will be reaching out to you and if you are preparing for any data science interviews you can follow along with my playlist they are pre-ordered for further questions or doubts use the hashtag ask in the comment sections i will clear all your queries until then keep learning guys